In this video, let's take a look at automation. Now, automation is where you move parameters and you want to track and record those movements in your song. So I've got this instrument here of the Retrolog, and I want to make some movements on some of these dials and I want them to be recorded to the track. So the track sounds like this. And when I play it back, I'll make some changes to the cutoff, to the resonance, and some of these other parameters, and hear what it sounds like. So to do this, what you need to do is on any effect or instrument, you need to enable the right automation. So when you click this, it's going to go red and it's going to enable the read automation as well. What that means is when you stop touching a parameter, it's going to play back and read through those changes that you made. So I'm just going to move this instrument down over here and I'm going to play back. And as I play back, I'm going to make some movements on this cutoff and watch what happens over here. It creates an automation lane. And as I make those changes, you can see them reflecting in that lane. Add some resonance. Change that cutoff. Now, as it plays back, it's going to read those changes I made. I can maybe go to the amp envelope, change the decay over here, and the release. And if I just close this window, you can see those changes that have been recorded in. So basically any instrument or plugin that has these parameters, you can go in and record in the automation. So for example, if I had to go to the inserts over here, and let's say I went for a chorus effect. On the chorus effect, I've also got the read and write automation. I'm going to move the plugins over here. So if I play back and make some changes to this, it's going to create a lane there for the rates and the mix. And if you want, you can even go in and add your own automation lanes. If you hover at the bottom over here, you can click to add another automation track. And over here, you can choose what you want to show. So here's a selection of parameters that are default parameters that you can see. For example, maybe I want to click on the volume. This is the volume for my channel strip. So over here, I've got the channel strip that I can hide and show. And if I go for my pen tool, I can draw in some node points. And as I draw that in, if I play back, you can see it's going to change the volume. I can also use my other tools. For example, the range selection, make a selection here and adjust this automation. For example, maybe I wanna scale it, I wanna tilt it. So all the same editing parameters you've seen previously. Now, if you don't want some of the automation tracks, you can select them. So I'm just going to select these over here, right click and say, remove selected tracks. I'll select yes, that deletes the data. And if I don't wanna see a lane, I can just hide it over here. So I can hide those automation lanes and you can just right click and go to show automation to show the automation that I have in the track. So I can click over here again to add another one and that's revealing the resonance. Now, another neat thing that you can do is if you take this region, so I'm gonna just go to my object selection and I move it across, it's going to copy that automation because automation follow events is enabled over here. Now, if I don't wanna copy across automation, but I still wanna copy the part, what I need to do is just, I'm going to undo those changes. I need to untick this, copy this across, and now that doesn't copy across the automation. And if you don't see a parameter here, you can just go to more and then navigate these categories to find exactly what you want. For example, I can go to synth. I can find all the parameters that I can automate within my synth. So maybe I wanna to go to oscillator two shape. I can add that lane and then I can create node points and make some changes that I want over there. And when you don't need to write in any automation, you can just untick the write, and now it'll just read the automation and it's not gonna write in any new automation.